Hey everybody, it's Charlotte. Today on Maker's Moments, we'll be teaching you how to make a candle using the tube wick. Tube wicks are a unique and beautiful addition to any candle collection. They get their name from their rolled tube shape. They make a cylinder shaped flame and have a crackling range of one to three out of five. Making a tube wick candle is very similar to making a candle with a flat wooden wick. Here's what you'll need. A vessel, wax, fragrance oil, a tube wick, wick clips, wick stickers, safety labels, a pouring pitcher, a stove safe pot, a whisk or a stirring utensil, thermometer, and finally, wick trimmers. Now that we've checked everything off of that list, we're ready to get started. Cover the area you'll be working on or work on an easy to clean surface. Clean the vessel you're going to use with a damp cloth to remove any dust or debris. Now we'll fill a stove safe pot with water until the water reaches approximately three inches or 12.7 centimeters in height. Preheat the water until it is barely simmering, not boiling. Divide your wax into small chunks using a knife or a wax cutter and place them into the pouring pitcher. The total ounce fill of each vessel is equivalent to the amount of wax needed per vessel. For example, an eight ounce vessel will need eight ounce of wax. See the vessel product page at woodenwick.com for details. Remove your tube wicks and your wick clips from the bag. When using the tube wicks, they will come in a plastic tube. You can simply remove the tube wick from this outer tube, gently pinch the bottom of your tube wick and place it into your wick clip. Ready to go. Now take a wick sticker and adhere it to the bottom of the wick and clip assembly. Now take your entire wick clip assembly and place it into the center bottom of your vessel. Press down firmly to make sure it's secure. Carefully place your pouring pitcher into your water-filled pot. Leave the pouring pitcher in the pot until the wax is completely liquefied and has reached the appropriate mix and pour temperature for your wax type. Then carefully remove your pouring pitcher from the pot and we're ready to add in our fragrance. Measure your fragrance oil and stir it in briskly for two to three minutes. Today, we're using lavender leaf and balsam from the Wooden Wick Co. Naturals collection. Refer to our fragrance percentage chart for exact details and pouring measurements based on your desired fragrance load. Once you've slowly poured the blend of fragrance into your wax, briskly stir it together for two to three minutes. Now we're ready to slowly pour the blend of wax and fragrance into our vessel. Pour until it reaches approximately half an inch to one inch above the top of the container. Let your candle set on a flat surface for at least 24 hours. Once your candles have fully cooled, trim your wicks to 0.2 inches or five millimeters above the wax. Apply safety labels to the bottom of your candles. Congrats! You're officially a candle maker. Once you've crafted your candles, it's important to make sure that you also properly care for and store your beautiful new creations. Be sure to trim your wick in between burns where the wood naturally breaks off to prevent sooting. Never burn your candle for longer than four hours. We recommend burning in cycles of two to three hours or until a full melt pool has been achieved. This maximizes an even burn and maximizes the throw of your fragrance. When not in use, store your candles upright in a cool, dry environment and out of direct sunlight. Ready to put your newfound knowledge into practice? What advice would you give other candle makers using tube wicks? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay in the loop on all the latest makers tips and tricks. See you next time on Makers Moments. Happy making!